Hey there, YouTube. I promised you guys that I was going to give you guys quick updates on the GT500. Um, I'm actually sitting here at home, uh, try to grill some Mexican food today. The uh, Here in Florida, we had a frost last night, and it looks like the weather's pretty nice. So, um, yeah, but anyway, so um, there's been a couple of shortages, you know, shortage issues with Ford. Um, I've been in contact with Ford Performance. They uh, stated that, you know, my car might be impacted a little bit by the shortages. However, um, as many of you can see here, the uh, Ford website has not, the configurator has not been updated as of yet. Why? I have no idea. I think it is a lot, it, you know, has a lot to do with the uh, shortage of uh, aluminum and chips and all that, all that stuff that's affecting, you know, um, every organist or every industry globally. The um, the GT500, I did place the order in November, so I'm pretty sure I was one of the first ones. Um, the guy at Full Performance, he stated that I should be still in the March to April. That's what uh, I'm hoping. For now, um, I've been debating, tossing in, you know, a couple of ideas around. I've thought about maybe an Audi R8. I've thought about maybe a Mach 1. You know, something to kind of, uh, you know, uh, keep me pacified until until my car gets here however you know it's still uh, just like everything else i probably should just be patient um should be patient and 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 wait around you know till my car gets here we do have the 2014 still fun car but once you drive a dct 2020 you know getting a uh something manual it just kind of gets a little bit old but um anyhow still fun car don't get me wrong and i still love it it's a very nice car but uh, next week, on, on Saturday of next week, um, we are actually, this week is today, Sunday, um, we are going to be judging at a Mustang Roundup show. Uh, show. I think it's the 35th anniversary of the show. Um, I've been a judge four years, four straight years. It's pretty fun. I, last year, a lady took a GT350 that had very low miles. It was, I think one similar sold that at Mecom over $2 million. Um, so you do see GT350s, you see Boss 429s, you see, you know, I, I think uh, last year there was even a uh, track pack SE um, GT500 2021. So um, lots of good cars. So I'm going to take you guys on the journey of a judge, just kind of a walk around and uh, record as I'm judging the, the vehicles. That should be pretty fun, kind of give you an idea how and what we look at and stuff like that as judges. So um, with that said, you know, I'm going to give you guys, like I promised, uh, you know, um, updates as I go. This week I'm supposed to call for performances. I'm calling them every two weeks. Um, the agreement I had with the gentleman there, he's Tony, I believe is his name. He's great. Um, he answers all your questions. He's always willing to help. Um, but uh, so with that said, um, just, you know, watch out for the next video. Um, it's going to be, like I said, pretty fun on judging the vehicles. So um, again, I'm, I'm, I wish I had more contact with the content for you guys on the newer, you know, um, GT500. But obviously it's still a waiting game. Let's be patient. Once we get it, there's going to be a lot of fun stuff. We have all the carbon fiber stuff we're going to install on the track pack. Um, we're probably going to do a Whipple um you know exhaust kind of go through the whole journey so anyway until next time um look out for the next video